Thank you for watching Weekend Prime. Air off to our top story. Tonight, the departed Chief of Defense Forces, General Francis Ogola, was accorded top military honors befitting a general in a solemn gathering held at the Lindsay Defense Complex in Langata, Nairobi. President William Ruta, his deputy, Rigard Gashagwa, were among top leaders who joined military officers during the first ever memorial service for a dead general. The event was held on a day that an investigative panel was commissioned by the government to probe the helicopter crash that claimed the lives of General Ogola and nine other military officers. Our reporter Francis Ode captured the event and now reports. The last journey of General Francis Ogola. Being escorted by 11 top military officers, President William Ruto paid his respect to his chief of defense forces along with other dignitaries including opposition leader Raila Amolo Odinga. His son Joel Ogola recounts his father's generosity, courage and simplicity. He understood that his position was temporary and it would always end. Leading up to his death, he almost knew that his time was up. Despite having very many plans for the military and, and for his family. But he spoke in a certain tone that would suggest that, my son, uh, I won't always be here and you will need to take care of my wife and my other children. He was showered with praise by the deputy chief of the army, Charles Kaharere. He was a very decisive commander and leader. He was very fair, firm but very fair when he dealt with situations. He would be considerate of actions before he took them. The lowest person, the cleaner, to his vice, he treated all of them with respect. The leader of the opposition, Ray Laudinga, who attended the memorial service, called for thorough investigations into the chopper crash. This on the day that a team was appointed to start investigations. A lot of rumors are flying around all over. We want these rumors to be put to rest. And this can only happen if there's a thorough investigation to tell us the cause of the death, how that plane came down. General Francis Omondi Ogola, was born on 12th February 1962 in Siaya County. He joined the army as a cadet in 1984 and was appointed second lieutenant in 1985 where he received pilot training at Moi Air Base. During his career in the Kenya Defense Forces, General Ogola held several positions. He was chief officer of the Laikipia Air Base in 2007 and also the commander of the Laikipia military camp from 2008 to 2014. After being promoted to Brigadier on 10th April 2012, he was appointed as the Deputy Chief of the Air Force and later promoted to Major General on 13 July 2018 and appointed as the Commander of the Kenyan Air Force. On 23rd July 2021, he was also promoted to the rank of Lieutenant General and appointed Deputy Chief of the Defense Forces, a position he held until 28th April of 2023 when he was promoted to the rank of the Chief General of the Defense Forces by President William Ruto. Ogola goes down in memory as the first Army Chief to lose his life while in office. In my military life, I have come to learn the reality of human mortality. I have appreciated that life is finite, humans are mortal, and life is short. One morning, you are with a healthy colleague, the next minute, he's ashes and gone forever. Now, it is a wrap for military respect for Francis Ogola as he travels to Siaya. The mantra remains, one force, one mission. Ode Francis, KT News, Nairobi. Now the infamous events 